team then? The Wizards still have an opportunity to play into the playoffs. They're sitting in the 10th seed in the Eastern Conference. Brendan, do you think that they could potentially surprise a ninth seed or maybe even potentially a couple of teams? Yeah, the Wizards are a team right now that when they're healthy, that's not the type of team that I would want to play. If, I would, I, if I'm in that playing tournament, I wouldn't want that smoke with the Wizards. And if I was the one or the two seed, I wouldn't want to play them either. Not saying that the Brooklyn Nets or Philadelphia uh, wouldn't be able to beat the Wizards, but that's not, if they were to make it into the tournament, that's not the average eight or seven seed. The, normally the eight seed doesn't have the NBA, uh, the NBA second leading scorer on it, as well as a guy that averages a triple double and has been a unanimous, and uh, not unanimous, but has been an MVP at one point in his career. So that's a different type of matchup. Um, the Wizards' backcourt is now the best backcourt in the league. It can't be argued anymore. It's not Dame and CJ. Um, you know, we're waiting for Steph and Clay to get back. But presently, the Wizards' backcourt is the best backcourt in the NBA by a country mile. And I think that that backcourt is so deadly that you would not want to see them in the first round of the playoffs if you're one of the upper tier teams. I heard you, Brendan, say, say, say Bradley's name, say Steph's name. I thought you were about to what, get messy what, what, again. What? I, th I think no, Kyrie. No. I, I ain't mentioning Bays. Hey, hey, I ain't hey, 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 Wood. I, ain't Wood. I, I think I think Kyrie and James Harden might challenge that being the best backcourt right now. We just haven't seen enough of it. No, no, hey, they only play seven <laughs> games, three. Hey, and some people say that's all they need is seven games. <laughs> <laughs> that's fair. You see what I'm saying? They only play some seven, say that's man. All they need is seven. You games. only need seven a few times hey, in man, a row. You got to <laughs> prove it on the court. Hey, I ain't right. giving out no lifetime achievement awards. <laughs> Then let me ask you, Dennis, the, the same question. If you are the Wizards, if you're Russell Westbrook oh. leading the Wizards and you're healthy, if Bradley Beal is in your lineup and scoring the way that we've seen him score all season, how dangerous could they be? As I'm having fun saying uh, Kyrie, you know, somewhere to happen, the Wizards were to do something crazy. Nobody wants to see Bradley Beal right now the way he's playing. Right. Russell Westbrook coming. You miss a few shots. We've seen guys. You know, I remember uh, we were AC playing against Miami, and Penny Hardaway went for three forties and ones in a row. Bradley Beal has shown us this year he can go get 50, he can get 55, he can get 40. Russell Westbrook has shown us what he can do. The question is, to Brendan's point, you don't want a backcourt coming into the playoffs with so much confidence to get hot. Now you're in the hot seat.